Hey, what is up, guys? So today I am here with my good buddy Lance. If you guys remember him from uh, one of the previous vlogs, we we are actually here to attend to a DIY commercial um, workshop by a fellow local creator, Thomas. local filmmaker, Thomas Go. Gotta and go. gotta go. His name is Gotta Go. We're gonna meet him in a while, and uh, he's gonna be holding the workshop. So this is where exactly the place is. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys whatever that's gonna happen inside the workshop and um, yeah, hope it's good and informative. Hi. Hi. Yo, sir. Ali. Finally, <laughs> see you, bro. <laughs> Yo, what is up? So I just ended work and I got home to a beautiful delivery box that I just got which is this big ass box right here. For the past two to three years, I've been actually editing. Okay, I've had this like very... It's not cheap but it is affordable. It is a $49 computer office chair that I've had for the past two, three years now. And I've been editing on it, uh, while working on it. Uh, sitting on it for very long hours. I would not say I would not recommend it. it It is not the best chair in the world. It does the job, but it's not comfortable for long hours So I decided to invest in myself. This is a uh, pretty much a $400 chair by APOL APOL Singapore no idea how to pronounce it, but I guess that's how it is and uh, I'm gonna unbox it now a uh, big chair for a big man. Eh. Yeah, apologies for the mess got shoes right there got stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna unbox it first in hand is a pocket knife. I'll show you the scale of this box. Yo, what is up YouTube? Yo, what is up guys? I am so, so, so excited to finally be back on YouTube. I think the last time I uploaded was maybe three, four months ago. I honestly really feel so good being back here. And um, right now, I have a totally new set. I had my camera right over there and the bed was here. And there was some blue LED light be behind the television and stuff like that with the corner desk and everything has been uh, the layout of my whole room, aka studio, is all new and stuff like that. I've got new, I've got a new desktop. I've got sound paneling over here. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get a, maybe I'll make another video for that for the whole like studio, home studio tour. So firstly, I just want to say that I am extremely happy to be back here on YouTube, finally making content. I know it's a little too late, but I just want to wish all of you a very, very happy new year, a very happy 2021. First of all, I just want to share with you a little bit of my 2021 goals. Yeah, I've got a full-time job, I'm doing my freelance business, and I'm managing here my YouTube channel. Looking forward to this year, I honestly want to try to focus a lot on my YouTube channel, trying to grow subscribers, grow my content and grow a community, I hope, in the future. I feel that a lot of people, they try to restrict themselves from making content because they feel like they don't have the best cameras, they don't have the best lighting, they don't have the best studio setup and stuff like that. Whatever it is, whatever it is, Never, never, never stop creating content. Whether it's a client shoot, whether it's being paid or not, whether it's free, whether it's a passion project. If you are just starting out, which I know some of you are, those watching right now, I think um, I've got a few subscribers. A few is like maybe one or two. <laughs> yeah, I've got a few subscribers um, chatting me up and saying, uh, asking me for some advice and stuff like that. I try my best <coughs> to reply. But if I don't, I'm, I apologize. I will try my best again in the future because I promise you, your hard work pays off. I mean, I would definitely agree that hard work pays off because a year ago, okay, I had I just bought my first camera. Was it a year ago? I, I actually bought my first camera for first wedding shoot that I was supposed to do. Turned out all right. And I, I was honestly thinking of doing interior design, jumping from national service. A friend of mine told me um, just to pursue my passion and here I am. Okay, so earlier on in the video, you saw that I actually 
went to a workshop. Funny thing is that is actually my first um, video photo workshop that as you would call it. I think that was honestly a great experience. Thomas, uh, thank you for sharing your skills, your knowledge and stuff like that because it was extremely helpful. So that was me. I was nothing. I would say I, 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 th I don't think anyone knew me back then in the video business. I have a lot of friends and family members who did not um, quite appreciate what I was doing. I guess it just takes one person to believe in you. J just use that one person to push yourself further and further and slowly you s soon start to realize that there will be two people who believe in you, three people and the community just grows and grows and grows. When you are nothing and you start putting a lot of work inside, like in what you believe in, you definitely make it there and I promise you that. So you know that I went to the DIY commercial workshop with Thomas Go. A couple of weeks later, I went back. So I managed to ask him a question, which was a thing that he would say to creators out there. These are the words from him. First thing first is to not, it's a thing out of the box for one thing. I feel that I think uh, people are always like doing a lot of stuff and you might feel that you are just limited to that space. La. I feel that I think as a creator, you are, your, your, your ideas are your main powers per se because you know you can do a lot of things by the end of the day your ideas are what push your yourself and your personality itself la. so as a creative also you know you need to to have the ability to constantly self-motivate i think that's very important because like you know you can do what people are doing but i feel that if you can self-motivate yourself and do things that are above others right i think that will make you somewhat a cut above the rest right <laughs> yeah, that was great okay, thank you once again thanks man uh, love your work and hope to see you in the future. Man. Thanks, thanks. This is the first video of January 2021 and my goal to end of this year, to end like in 2021 December, I aim to have a thousand subscribers. Now I'm only at 108. <laughs> it's no harm looking, looking to grow big, but when you do, I would assume that it will be very, uh, what is that word? Rewarding, yes, rewarding. Yeah, it will be very rewarding. Okay, so to end off things, uh, thank you so much once again. And in order to reach my 1,000 subscriber goal, if you haven't, please do head down, like and subscribe this video. To end things off, to okay, for real, for real, to really, really end things off, I just want to say, whatever you do, create to relate. I just made that up, but if you find that word, I'm gonna trademark it, TM, Alif Burger Trademark, Create to Relate, okay? But if you really find that catchy and nice, tell me in the comments below, Create to Relate is the perfect tagline for Alif Burger. 